Hello students, I hope you all are fine. I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. So today we will discuss uh, there is a basic as well as important topic that is the reaction of cis dye with par iodic acid or lead tetraacetate. Actually, this is an oxidative cleavage of cc bond to get carbonyl. So this is the property of a one two dye. Okay. So today we will discuss the basic concept oxidation reduction importance of this reaction mechanism of this reaction and aqueous versus organic medium and last we'll discuss one exception so a lot of chemistry to be learned so watch a small request to you if you really like my teaching please help my channel to grow so let's start so this is one to dye okay this now I am not saying it's cis or trans because it's an open chain. If it is in cis, reaction will happen easily. But if it is trans, then cc rotation, and after that it will happen. You will understand during the mechanism discussion. So actually, this reaction you can see this this carbon. For example, it is to four carbon. This carbon is plus one. Okay. So right now this carbon is plus two. So what is the neat consequence? This is an oxidation. So someone is to be reduced. See, for iodic acid, it is in plus seven oxidation state, going to plus five oxidation state. Yes. Similarly, lead tetraacetate, lead is plus four oxidation state. It is converting into two oxidation state. So both means two reagent. One one method should be this or should be this. Fine, not these two reagents, only one reagent, and this is actually aqueous. This combination is for aqueous medium, this parionic acid, and this later triacetate is for organic medium. So, how to um, memorize this? How to keep this information in mind? See, you are dealing with an acid. So we know that acids are soluble in aqueous medium. So otherwise they are not soluble. So for that you need paradic acid, aqueous based. And if using lead tetraacetate, I agree, I agree there is a metal lead. But see, it is attached to four acetate groups. What does it mean that acetates are organic? So it will be soluble in organic medium. Okay, fine. Okay. So, second, see, it's a very high oxidation state, so it want to be reduced. That's why it reduces to plus five. In case of lead, see, this is plus four. I agree, but lead has an another uh, property like inert pair effect. Inert pair effect, or you can say consequence of lanthanide contraction. The it, it is in deficiency of electron, high electron deficiency. That's why it went to plus two oxidation state by a reduction process. Fine. Now let's discuss about the importance of this reaction. What is the importance? See, first of all, in this through this reaction, if you can identify these two carbonyl compounds by some method, then you can prove that what are the substitution part means this part and this part of a diol. In this way means right now if you do you have many spectroscopic technique in about those things so you can easily do it but previous time when there was no that type of highly sophisticated techniques this is a good method second in this way we can check the substitution of a double bond how we know that I have already uploaded that hydroxylation like osmium tetroxide mediated or dilute cold KMnO4 mediated method so you can oxidize a alkene for example you can oxidize a alkene to corresponding cis diol dihydroxy compound okay this is an oxidation so you can do, you can check what is the substitution of an alkene by using this method. Actually, you are cleaving this part and you are forming this. 
By the way, you can see that sir, there is a method named ozonolysis. We can do it using that. Is a one step. I agree. That's a better method. But you have to understand one part: writing a reaction in a pen and paper versus doing that reaction. There is a huge difference. So we need to think about the reagent condition, handling, safety, etc. Ozone is a very dangerous, dangerous reagent. Okay, that's why precaution should be taken. And if and additionally it is a gas molecule handling a gas is also created some problem so instead of that if you can do some reagents reagent based method or solution phase method that's always better so this could be another so this is an another technique and this is the importance of this reaction now now let's discuss the mechanistic process of this reaction so actually this is a electron transfer between the oxygen to the hypervalent iodine or lead so how this is happening so first of all this one to diol let's discuss the para iodic thing react with para iodic acid how this is the iodine this para iodic looks like this this so it is in plus 7 oxidation state so when it so when you are reacting with this this diol coordinates first so it opens up this second molecule attacks and ultimately it leaves why definitely it will open up come back leaves so i am not saying that first will attack do second overall this is happens and question you can you may ask that sir which is not a good leaving group why this is leaving because medium contains h i for lots of h plus there so it is it's a strong acid so that h plus may facilitate that process elimination second i will show some balance of proton okay so what is the first product in this way so this is the h this is the h i actually two double two means intact one two and one is oh got it see this oh left three oxygen are there so three among that one open oh now this box this has a positive charge this has a positive charge so this positive charge will be neutralized by the elimination of proton now think one molecule of h plus was consumed here to prepare water means elimination of water and another h plus means hydrogen came here so that is from this so in this way the proton balance is done now the important thing so see right now once it is plus 7 2 2 fine in next step what happens that it pushes it back here it goes there it comes so see that this part iodine is reduced because this bond pair is going to the iodine so consequently what will happen so double bond this this part is double bond plus h i 1 2 3 oxygen that is 5 same thing fine so this is the process but similar if you do the lead tetraacetate mechanism let's do similarly it will form a cyclic cyclic better to say it's a one to diol coordinated lead so how it look like it is expected to look like this is the lead fine and another thing interesting point if you think the lead reagent this is the lead oac oac i'm just writing this because for your understanding how oac looks like ch3 oac so first oh attacks one left second attack 
another leg because OAC is still less by resonance. O O O minus, which has a canonical form, means O minus here, here. equivalent canonical structure. That's why it leaves. Now what happened? This leg and here two OAC are attached. So similarly, similarly that it pushes here arrow moving direction you can do the reverse no problem ultimate product will be same you i suggest you please try so this is the way so these two lone pair come to lead that is the reason for reduction is is to lead oac means lead to plus this so this is the final product so this is the overall make uh, overall mechanism for both reactions okay so now we will discuss one example for trans trans alcohol okay let's discuss this example before that let's think let's learn a little bit about the cis versus trans see this is the cis diol because actually cis 1 2 diol okay same side this is 1 2 diol but trans okay one two diol but trans now if you do the reaction with this it will react faster definitely but it will also react because there is a cc rotation possible cc rotation possible but but if you think about this one this is a cyclic molecule cyclic molecule so CC rotation not possible. Understood? CC rotation not possible. That so question is will it react or not? I it will definitely react. So what will be the product? Let's discuss. Now if you react this to it plate tetracetate, one molecule of diol will definitely bind. So it will attack and one will leave. OAC. So, what will be the product? H. I am writing the ultimate one. O. OAC. 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 And this is the OH. Fine. One left because oxygen coordinated. I have explained the mechanism previously. Now in next step, the interesting thing happens. This lone pair pushes here. Means not this bond. This bond means double bond O formation. It breaks, pushes here. It cleaves. And see, this is the reduction because lead is in plus four oxidation state. Because of this, it became plus two. So what is the product? In the as always, I suggest you please write exactly the same. Okay, so this is H plus uh, H, it will be plus. So I am removing the plus chart because the proton will be eliminated in the next stage. So O O plus P B O A C twice. Ladies in plus two. So see, this is also one to carbon, but course of reaction is different. Sorry. Okay. So this is the end of this discussion. So what we have learned today? We have learned today the oxidative cleavage of cis one to diol means the one to diol, better to say, using paradic acid method and lactic acid method. First one is for suitable for aqueous medium reaction, second one is for organic medium reaction. We have discussed that complete mechanism, redox, state change involved with this process and finally we have discussed an example where we have found that ring transdiol also participated but the mechanism of this process is different. So this is the overall discussion. Thank you everyone for listening my, watching my video. So if you really like my teaching, I request you to please help me to grow my channel. 
First of all, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Please share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited and that will be a biggest satisfactory point for my side also. And I request you, please make some good comments and like this video. So this thing inspired me a lot and this motivation keeps uh, me motivated to make you new videos on a regular basis. So thank you, stay happy, stay blessed, see you in my next video.